Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So tonight we have a uh, uh, another installment of Big Tool Slapdown. So my buddy Adam Booth back in Pensacola, uh, A Bomb 79. If you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. Um, well, Adam uh, he drug out his Tap Ranch collection again the other day, and uh, uh, now the boy's pulling out tape measures, measuring stuff. So. Um, uh, I'd call that a direct challenge. Anyway, uh, I got a few things to show tonight and um, got a few tricks up my sleeve still. So us old guys, uh, you got to watch out for us old guys, Adam. Um, we've been around longer so we got some tricks. So uh, anyway, stay tuned and enjoy the okay, show. Okay, so first things first. So uh, Adam put a, uh, let's see if I got the number here somewhere. Uh, anyway, I think it was 44 and 3 quarters or 44 and 5 eighths. Adam put a tape measure to his, uh, um, his tap wrench, the one that does have handles. Um, anyway, uh, he's got a number 8 uh, Greenfield or a TRW, I don't remember which now. And uh, he measured the overall length. So, uh, um, anyway, once and for all, we're going to put a tape measure to this and, uh, and see what we got and go from there. Now, Adam opened his up all the way, so this one's opened up all the way also. And uh, we're gonna get a precision measurement on this one. So, what I thought we'd do is, uh, we'll just butt that angle up against there like that. And we'll butt that angle up against there like that, okay? And then uh, we're gonna uh, put, a, put a tape measure to it. Well, I have to say that uh, um, I've come up short. So Adam, uh, um, I've got 41 inches here and uh, on my green field number eight. And I think he had uh, 44 and 5 eighths, which is way out here. So um, I'm gonna concede that one to you, Adam. Uh, I'll give you that one. So we'll score one for Adam on that. Um, so I'm just gonna put my little tool away here and uh, we're gonna look at a couple other things. So Adam, I was going through my uh, I was going through my uh, my library, and I ran across this book, and I just happened to be looking through it. And this is an old Ryerson catalog, uh, number fifty five, from Joseph T. Ryerson Company. Anyway, um, um, I was flipping through here, and now this, uh, according to this down here, uh, nineteen fifty four is the is the year that this was uh, this was made. Anyway, uh, I got some markers in here, and we're going to look at some stuff. Anyway, it's got a bunch of cool uh, old equipment in it. It's got some old boys in here uh, doing some uh, doing some work on different stuff. Anyway, it's kind of a kind of an interesting book. A lot of neat stuff in there. And um, but I came across a couple of cool pictures, and I swear this looks like your grinder here. This looks like your big bench grinder. Now I don't remember. You probably said it in one of your videos, but I don't remember what it was. But this is Cincinnati grinder here, and um, they got several sizes, two to five horsepower. But that sure looks like your bench grinder there, pal. Anyway, uh, so that's the vintage uh, of that, that grinder you have, I think. Now, now when I go back in here a little farther and kind of head towards the back, um, like I said, there's all kinds of neat stuff in here. I just like looking at it. And uh, let's see, back here, we keep going. Oh yeah, here it is. So that sure, I don't know about you guys, but that sure looks like Adam's welding machine. So check it out in his videos. That's almost the same damn welder he's got there. And um, um, anyway, I've run one of those actually, and that's actually a pretty good machine. So. Uh, Anyway, that sure looks like Adam's machine there. Now, uh, the part that I thought was that, that was interesting um, was in the back here. There's some uh, some pictures of uh, some of the Ryerson family, and um, one of the one of the pictures really looks familiar. Let's see what you guys think. Um, let's see if you think that any of these pictures look familiar here. So this is the Ryerson family, and uh, you got Bart Ryerson and Mo Ryerson, and 
uh, Beavis and Butthead Ryerson, and uh, and then you got this guy Adam Ryerson. You know, boy, he looks familiar to me. And I don't know, uh, what do you guys think? Um, and then uh, you got Kenny Ryerson too. Um, but boy, this boy looks familiar to me. I'm telling you. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. If that looks like uh, our buddy Adam. So uh, anyway, uh, this is the. Uh, 1954 edition of the Ryerson machinery catalog and uh, and the Ryerson family there so we got some uh, some good stuff in there well anyway I, I got a couple more little things going here I hope you guys like my uh, my little joke book here uh, Adam all kidding aside uh, we love you anyway uh, whew, man it's getting kind of hot in here excuse me Boy, it's, it's hot and humid in here right now. Um, I looked at the thermometer a little while ago and it was 74 degrees and 35% humidity. I'm, I'm dying in here. Um, I, think, I think I'm gonna turn the fan on. Whew, let me turn the fan on. Hey Adam, it's Tom. So uh, I'm so excited right now because I found this great deal on Craigslist for you out here. And um, I don't have room in my shop for it, but uh, I think you're going to have room in your shop for it. So uh, it's a real special piece of equipment and um, I think you're really going to love it. So uh, don't be surprised if a truck, a truck shows up uh, carrying uh, this new machine for you. So. I'm going to spin the camera around and uh, we're going to show you uh, show you your, your new machine that's headed your way, buddy, okay? This is just for you since you like the big tools, okay? Alright, Adam, this is going to give you an idea of scale of your new machine since you like the big tools. Um, it's a uh, vertical boring mill and uh, we're going to put it on a truck and we're going to ship it out to Pensacola for you. So I'll show you some of the other pieces of it here in a second. Okay, so let's measure this table. I don't, this is a 25 foot tape measure. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it across to the other side. So we'll just measure it uh, to the center hole here. And uh, so we've got, uh, what is that, nine feet? Yeah, it looks like halfway. So this is a, uh, the diameter here is 230 inches. Will that fit in your garage, Adam? I'm hoping it will. Um, actually, you know what? You could put your whole shop on top of this thing and, uh, and spin it. So uh, that table is uh, 18 inches thick, cast iron. Uh, this is one half of it, and there's the other half down below. It even comes with a ladder here to, so you can get up on top of it. All right, Adam. Um, so uh, better clear out that shop of yours. Uh, you got a big machine coming your way. I got a really killer deal on this on Craigslist. So it's too good to pass up. So uh, all for you, buddy.